If you're considering bringing a Rottweiler into your family, you'll want to know everything you can about them to make sure they will be a good fit for you and the people you love. You may have heard that they are loyal dogs who stick close by their owners. But what about their fur? Will that be sticking to you too? Shedding can be a hairy issue. Shed fur can fly around the house on air currents sticking to everything and everyone. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique, guide is in the description below. Do Rottweilers shed? Yes, Rottweilers do shed. Shedding is a normal phase of the hair growth and maintenance cycle in all mammals, meaning that all dogs shed fur, even the so-called non-shedding varieties. Not all dogs shed the same amount though. Some breeds are heavy shedders, others are moderate shedders, and some are light shedders. Lighter, non-shedding, breeds are often recommended for people with allergies to pet dander or mites, but their reputation is not backed up by science. Why do dogs shed? As mentioned, shedding is a normal part of the hair cycle. Lifelong cycling of hair follicles is essential to maintain a full and healthy fur coat. It is also responsible for seasonal changes in fur color and quality. Let's take a look at a typical hair cycle to understand more about why dogs shed hair. Genetics. Two genes, MC5R and RSPO2, are likely to be responsible for the amount of shedding in dogs. And what's more new versions of these genes have evolved since dogs were domesticated. It seems that the older ancestral versions of both genes predict heavy shedding, whereas the newer derived versions of both result in light shedding. For example, a study of the Portuguese water dog, a non-shedding breed, showed that dogs that had the ancestral RSPO2 shed much more than those that carried a derived, mutated version. Similarly, another non-shedding breed, the Poodle, almost always carries two copies of the derived RSPO2 gene. In contrast, heavy shedders like the Akita and Alaskan Malamute carry the ancestral MC5R gene. Interestingly, moderate shedders like the Cocker Spaniel and Pug have a mix, the derived version of the MC5R gene and the ancestral version of the RSPO2 gene. Typically, dogs with a double coat, undercoat and top coat, will shed in the spring to make way for a lighter summer coat and again in the fall to prepare for a thicker, winter coat. These changes are normal and natural and indicate that your dog is healthy. How much do Rottweilers shed? Because they have short hair, you might think that Rotties won't shed that much. The truth is they tend to be moderate shedders, with little shedding throughout the year, but extra shedding in the spring and the fall. As you may have guessed by now, Rotties have a double coat. So that extra shedding needs to happen before the summer and winter seasons to help prep them for the change in weather. Dealing with Rottweiler Shedding During the spring and fall when they change their coats, you'll need to groom a Rottweiler more frequently than the rest of the year. Doing so will remove a lot of their loose fur and prevent it from ending up all over your house. Luckily, Rottweiler coats are smooth and very easy to groom. You'll just need a good dog brush and comb to get to both the under and top coat. As a general rule, two to three times a week is a good schedule for grooming during the spring and fall, and once a week should be fine for the rest of the year. During those heavier shedding periods, giving your Rottie a good brush before a scrub in the bath can also help to remove more of their shedding fur. You shouldn't need to bathe them more than once a month though unless they get dirty. Too many baths can dry out their skin and make them shed even more. Diet. Diet may also play a role in how much a dog sheds his her fur. Deficiencies in essential fatty acids are thought to cause a dull coat and excessive shedding, eventually leading to alopecia. Similarly, protein deficiency makes dogs shed more than normal and, though rare, it can occur in young, growing dogs or those who are pregnant or lactating and whose protein needs are high. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. 
Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.